This is 8 Minutes of Awesome. I'm Jennifer Lipsky. Joining me today is Anna Gonsalves. And Anna wants to help you connect with the person who you really are. Hi, Anna. Thanks so much for joining me here on 8 Minutes of Awesome. Hey, Jennifer. It's good to be here. How are you? Oh, so well. Thank you so much. And Anna, you have developed a unique blueprint that you use in helping others to remove blocks from their lives so that they can access the fullest expression of themselves. And that sounds really remarkable. So tell us what you've been working on. Well, one of the ways that I really like to connect with individuals in who they are, especially when around something is not working, is to find out who they are on the soul level by connecting to their energy field and to their hearts. So by accessing that, we can find out what can what they can implement into their lives, like certain qualities that they desire to bring more into their lives or the ones that are really who they are. And once we begin to tap into those qualities, we begin to unfold what is no longer serving them and what is actually not been them all along, like self-imposing beliefs and fears. It's like they fall away because by focusing on the qualities of who they are and the qualities that they desire to bring into their lives, those are the yearnings of the soul and those are the ones that really wish to be expressed here right now. So it's a way to really connect the individual with those qualities by bringing them in so that they can feel more alive in them and really kind of feel at home and in their body in them, whether that's through participating in an activity that makes them feel happy or alive or whether by doing something that they have been interested in a long time but have been too scared to do. It's what really gets them in touch with their inner power. So that's one of the ways that I help people to connect with who they are in that way. Mm. And Anna, I know that you are a powerful energy healer. And um, just before we started this segment, you know, we sat and connected um, together, which was beautiful. And I'd like to know if you could share um, maybe, you know, one of the first experiences you had in your personal life when you started to um, be able to access that energy. What was that like? How did that feel? I, oh, good question. Thank you. I, I always remember the time when I was five or six and I used to be very drawn to animals and ants and it was like they had their own um, energy and their own way of being. I felt very connected and I always felt their energy emitting to me and it was like it, it gave me access to, to the world in a way to feel that connection and whenever I was around them, I always used to feel very happy and very healed in that way. But I think it was later when I was 15 that I started accessing um, healing. And it was just a discovery when I was, I hadn't read anywhere about what healing was. It was just, you know, as children, we get experimental and just by because I wanted to heal some wounds that I had had in my own life. And I started uh, practicing um, with energy healing on myself. And it was like intuitively, I was just working on my body. And I realized, wow, this is very powerful. And it was like from that moment on, it just made me realize how powerful we each are. And we all have these gifts. And it was like, I really wanted to help people to access that, access that power and really work on that rather than what I saw in the outside world. It was having access to that connection from that early on that always 
was the main reason that I was here to help people, to really help individuals really access the core of who we are through that connection, you know, just by being aware of it and noticing that this actually works and we have this and it was like curiosity. It's like, I wonder if everyone is accessing this energy now and whether they are healing themselves. It was really curious and wonder and really having this desire to bring it to more people because it's very powerful and we have that access and of course we don't often have a way to access it within the means of the world however it is there mm, yeah you make an excellent point in that we all have that ability to tap into that to access that um, to heal ourselves, to heal, heal others, to connect with others in that most special and profound way. Um, and certainly on this journey of discovery that you have had, I'm sure there have been times of uh, feeling vulnerable or when challenges came to you. Um, so how did you within yourself stay strong through, through those challenges? one of the ways that I stay strong was always to keep that connection alive with who I am, the inner connection, by really finding that time to be in inner peace and quiet and journal and just strengthen that connection through things that made me happy and allow me to feel connected with the universe. And that was always being in nature and being around animals, being around children, and having that time to really just connect kept me going. Of course, it wasn't always easy, especially with people around me, because I felt like I had this deep sense of purpose, like I always wanted to help people, and others around me didn't really make sense of why and, you know, felt like the outsider. But it's like the more I kept persisting and just kept at it and it kind of opened me up. It just made me really happy. And I just enjoyed each moment even more. It was just kind of this sense of purpose and to keep looking at the greater picture and just continue on the path and keep coming back to the things that make me happy and make me feel connected because I think those are the things that are really strong and the things that really do matter keep coming back to that to build the strength and the inner connection with myself. Mm. Yeah, thank you for sharing that, for sharing those suggestions as well. I'm sure that they will be a benefit to others who are hearing this. And I'd like to also ask if there was a message in your heart right now, something oh, really special that you need others to hear today what would that message be? Know that you are being supported, even if it may not seem like it, you are being guided every step of the way and everyone around you loves you very much, even if it may seem like they don't, especially the close family that we have, everyone does love you a lot and they are really watching you and they really appreciate and value all that you are doing. Mm, a beautiful message. And Anna, I would like to know if you could share how people can get in contact with you so that they can learn more about you and about the work you do. Of course, I'd love for anyone who is interested in receiving a meditation. It's free meditation to my subscriber list and it's about making you feel connected to your inner power and relaxed and centered and the link for that plus you also be on my newsletter subscriber list is http two dots forward slash forward slash uh, little e little e little p little u little r little l dot com forward slash capital d little u little q capital D and capital H and I will send you that link as well 
and the meditation is especially powerful to listen in the morning if there's anything that's racing through your head or through the night before you can just you know it's 10 minutes long it's not too long and you can instantly connect to your power really fastly and just feel relaxed and at peace and I actually also have an unveiling of an e-course that's coming out soon as well and it's about claiming back your power and stepping into the life that you love now and I feel that's going to be very beneficial for a lot of people using my own unique blueprint and that will be sent out through the news newsletter subscriber list. Thank mm. you. Anna Gonsalves, thank you so much for sharing all of this with us today. And thank you so much for having me. I'm really glad that I am here and I had the chance to connect with you and with you all today. Thank you. Oh, thank you.